Well, hello everyone, and welcome to a very special episode of. Uh, oh no! Dog no, podcast. not a special episode. Um, Why is it a someone, special one? Did someone get hooked on drugs? Yeah, no. This is a special. <laughs> this is a special episode because this is the first episode in September. September is of course. Oh, I, I didn't know we were naming every month. Yeah, Great. yeah and September is of course the month in which we accidentally discover Dog Sog on Alpha Lima Prime, and uh, <laughs> wow. That is uh, that is a date that will live in infamy. infamy. Of course, that is where the saying comes from. Uh, oh God, why do we remember the tenth of September, <laughs> which is when? We got I love when Soinki hosts episodes because we get more lore about this yes. channel. <laughs> Finally, more Ogsog lore. What the audience has been clamoring yep. for. Update the Wikipedia page. Yeah. This is when we will reveal that uh, what you are seeing is each of our panic rooms during the month of September. You may <laughs> randomly hear some shouting, some people screaming for their lives. That is because during September, there are no rules for Ogsog. He, uh, oh, is he, it like he the will... purge? The purge? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It is the Og Sog's version of the Purge. He will eat anyone and everyone. Uh, so we are locked in our Og Sog proof bunkers. Uh, well, so Inky fixes the audio issues. I'm just going to use this time to talk about what we do here on the channel. This is the Og Sog podcast with Lasercorn, Mari, so Inky, myself, Jovenshire. Uh, every other Monday, we have a new full show. You can watch the video version on Patreon. We have a link in the YouTube link if you're uh, if you're there. Uh, or also, we've got the full Spotify version you can listen to. And of course, on YouTube are segments where we do gaming. Check out our Patreon page for extended gaming and podcast episodes. Help support pay for producer baka before we get into our next main topic this palette cleanser now i i'm just going to say this is my a me thing i've been seeing an alarmingly increasing number of people on twitter and maybe there's just a lot of people that do this in general that have been too afraid to come forward uh but i've been seeing an alarming number of people on twitter talking about how they put their milk before their cereal now, I what? just, uh, oh. just want to get everyone. I just want to talk to everyone here because maybe we have a milk before cereal person here on the podcast. We never knew. Uh, does anyone want to come forward? I acknowledge the logic of it. I think. Why? No, there's no logic. There no. is no logic. Okay. Well, the, lo <laughs> the logic, <laughs> the logic think, is dumb. So the argument is that your your cereal gets less soggy because you add the cereal last. So uh, I, I don't. I, that part doesn't make sense. Uh, how many times, like, yeah, yes, as kids, it was fun, right? You pour all your milk in, and then you drink the excess milk. Um, I see. Uh, but, you know, especially as an, as an adult, uh, I use almond milk now because I, like, yeah, dairy. Like, I'm old now. I guess just dairy isn't, I can't do dairy as much anymore. And so, my, man, it's an old, it's a young person's <laughs> game. Okay, dairy. here's my problem game. with the technicalities of this. When you... Pour in milk without anything else in it. The splash factor on it is bad. How are you splashing your cereal yeah, you that should, you're dealing with the splash the factor? Yeah, you should be able to pour milk in a, into a bowl without splashing it. You're no, I think I no, I think that if there is cereal, then the the splash factor is better. That's what I'm saying. When there is nothing in it, then it can splash oh. out, and no, how, and so how, no. <laughs> Yeah. Now, Same argument. This is, I think, this I think is the, you're pouring this milk is, wrong. This is, this is the reason why cereal needs to go in first. Are you, are you no holding reason. the milk way above the bowl? Yeah. <laughs> Do you not? <laughs> it's flash back there. Like, uh, it is, you, she does, like, it is always a competition. At the same time, yeah. like she's at a bar. It's always a competition of how far you can have the, the, the milk <laughs> away from the bowl. Is it not? Mari, Mari pours milk <laughs> like middle schoolers pee in the urinal. Like, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Every day the bar gets higher. If not, I'm not a achieving anything. Is right. this not like, the same again, understanding? Going back to the logic, it does make sense. You put your milk in there so you know how much cereal to put in so that you have that perfect balance. No. Um, whereas no, I, wait, which way are you, Are you, which side are you on? Are you so, cereal uh, no, first or milk I, first? Uh, because I've done it my whole life, I am cereal first, but then I eyeball it. I'm like looking to see the moment I can see the milk kind of come through yeah, the, uh, yeah. the bottom, that's why I know when to stop. Up, you know you're there. You get that yeah. satis satisfying float up moment, right? Yep, yep, you, yep. You uh, I guess I don't have cereal, cereal that 
floats up. Floats, but even still, if your cereal's floating, that's probably Cheerios. too much they milk. Float, Jovan, are you eating milk. cereal? Yeah, what? yeah. I've got. <laughs> I have. <laughs> you to tell us you I have Trader <laughs> Joe brand. Uh, you just have Snickers on, in a bowl. <laughs> yeah. My cereal never floats. Yeah, it's at the bottom. It was like, yeah. I mean, you after you get done grilling the cereal, you. Can get <laughs> <laughs> I, but, but again, I was also like I said, I transitioned over to almond milk, and I didn't like almond milk, so I didn't want a lot of extra milk. So I was very careful with how much milk I was putting in. I could be a little bit more cavalier with my milk now. But again, <laughs> logically, to find that perfect balance, it makes more sense to put milk first. I actually, like, <laughs> there. I really was expecting you to mispronounce cavalier, and you nailed it. So yeah. Uh, fun fact, uh, one of the many high schools that I went to, I was the, uh, our mascot was the Cavaliers. Uh -huh. yeah. Cleveland, yeah, Cleveland so. Cavaliers. Uh -huh. That's where I'm uh, in my care, the Montclair Cavaliers. Shout out to the one year of my junior year of high school that I did there. I feel like if you pour the milk first, you're just getting a thin layer of cereal on the top of the milk because there would be no submerged cereal because you... Yeah. What? No, again, f f that much cereal doesn't float. Wait, I feel like I'm... you'd have to wait for cereal to sink, though, and then in, the, in yeah. order to get the, yeah, it would be like spilling over the top of the bowl and stuff. Again, wait, I've never had this situation, but. Now that I'm thinking about this, the splash factor of the cereal going into the milk, that's another splash factor that you have How to figure much? out. Okay. Because <laughs> if you're pouring it, from high up, which this should be. Just, are so hinky. I'm just, I'm just imagining Mari running around her, running around her kitchen, panicking as milk is splashing everywhere. Oh my God. <laughs> She's got milk like loaded into a super soaker. She's like, so then I pour the milk. Right? <laughs> you guys aren't worried about the splash factor. How much milk are you putting into your bowls? Enough a that good, I can good. drink a little bit of cereal soup afterwards. Mm. And yeah, until it floats. I think we can all agree <laughs> that people who pour the milk first are monsters. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Good. Yes. Yeah. 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 And as a yeah. small feed them dog. aside, feed them dogs, dog. And I've only seen a couple people talking about this. So granted, this isn't a widespread thing. We don't have to panic. But I have heard <laughs> of a small number of people who microwave their cereal, as in like more <laughs> milk. Completely unacceptable. Those people are tr they're trolling, or they need to be in a mental Mike? institution locked yeah. up, I've away seen, from the general like, public. I've seen a video of this one guy that does it, and like other people have tried it that are friends with him, and they're just like, they're like, you know, I wouldn't do it, but it's like not terrible. Well, I mean, what's the difference between that and oatmeal? One is oatmeal and one is uh, cereal. Interesting thought. Interesting thought. Uh, oatmeal absorbs the liquid. Yeah, you have to mm. go hot with oatmeal. Because it mm -hmm. needs to, yeah, it needs to like yeah, kind of cook. True. But in terms of like texture and flavor and whatnot, like there, there wouldn't be much. Cereal is not oatmeal is made to be microwaved. Milk, er, milk and cereal is not. You know, there was Back a time not too day. long ago. <laughs> yeah, there was a time not too long ago. You know, you'd have a warm cup of milk before milk uh, before sleep. It would help you fall asleep. You know, you give it to a baby in their bottle, a nice warm bottle of milk to yeah. help you fall asleep. What but they didn't say is that there's thing. whiskey in that milk. <laughs> <laughs> you too have had some Joven's milk. It's yeah. delicious. I thought all right well i thought this was gonna be a two minute discussion and it turned into a 10 minute discussion thank you guys so much for watching if you're watching this on youtube which you are i always say it but you are watching this on youtube this is just a cut down version of the full version that you can listen to on spotify you can also find us on patreon patreon.com slash to support us and you know become a Ogg Sog member. Oh, oh, praise him.